Greetings officers and welcome to my review of the Quick Draw Army, Claire's first weapon to be acquired during her second run. The Quick Draw has to be the strangest, quirkiest and most unique weapon in all of Resident Evil 2. It is a 6 shooter revolver, a gun that can dish out very good amounts of damage very quickly but takes a thousand years to reload. It's all about burst with this baby and what's interesting about it is that unlike most hand cannons and handguns that you get in this game which will usually deal average to low damage and leave enemies standing even after you empty your clips sometimes the quick draw will surprise you in taking down enemies in as few as four bullets if you are lucky even on hardcore in this case it took three bullets to put down fat zomb slim here and that says a lot. One thing that should be taken out of the way from the get-go so we can get down to the awesome stuff is that as I stated, this weapon takes an eternity to reload. It can hold 6 bullets, the damage will be dealt fast and precisely, but after that you're stuck with an empty pistol that will take literally 7 seconds to return to its full magazine state. That is a lot of time in a pinch situation. I believe that the intention behind this design is to force the player to be very tactical about their approach. Here you can see me shoot an acid round into this very durable liquor on hardcore and then I unload my quick draw and just retreat. The liquor is now dead and although the acid would have damaged it over time, it would not have been enough to kill it in one grenade. The quick draw's very fast burst damage though made sure that it never stood up again. Here's another example in the very same area and another dead liquor fallen by these guns extreme prowess a very unique characteristic of the gun that makes it even more amazing is its high penetration capabilities Hela will be very slowly and deliberately be shooting dr zombie so i can demonstrate what i mean Every bullet you fire from the quick draw will end up either hitting an enemy behind the initial target or hitting the wall at the back of the room. That means that if you can line them up, and this is very thematic indeed for a revolver, you can make sure you maximize your finite amount of ammo to dish out the best possible amount of damage. Now with this guy I wasn't very lucky, he actually took more bullets than average, but as you can see around the room, and I'm gonna show you the specific location where my bullets landed, you can see them here, the gun demonstrated in abundance its ability to go through corpses and hit behind the intended target. There is no overstating the fun factor of actually shooting this thing. The fact that it can fire so quickly gives you a sense of empowerment that's rare in the remake of Resident Evil 2 where we usually feel weak and vulnerable. It also seems to be a bit more crit savvy than most hand cannons, but I cannot really test it since it's all RNG anyway. I'm gonna replay the first clip of the vid in case you didn't get what was happening. I actually ended up shooting the second enemy accidentally here and really cracked me up in the process. So that was it guys, my review of the Quick Draw Army, hope you found it useful, if you did, sub like and share, it really helps the channel grow, I am covering pretty much everything I can get my hands on in Resident Evil 2 the remake. Until next time be well, stay frosty, and always strive for perfection. Cheers.